We're talking about how to be productive in a home office. And one of the things that I've really found to be helpful is what I, what I've, I've heard it called an MIT list and it stands for most important things, but it's basically a, just a very shortened condensed to do list that is for that specific day. Um, some people find that if they write it the, the day before for the next day, then when they walk into their office in the morning, they're like set to go. Other people are fine sitting down that morning and planning it out. But basically what it is, is it's just a a very short and condensed to-do list of three things, two or three things, I wouldn't do any more than that, of um, things that you have to get done that day. And if you do this right when you get to the office, before you check your emails, before you start getting sidetracked with um, with things, with, with less important things, is you go straight to your MIT list and you go, okay, what are the two other things I absolutely have to get done today? And those are the things that you start with. And here's the good thing about it though. When you're in kind of a typical office environment, sometimes there's not incentive to work hard and get things done quickly because you, for, for some people, it's just a matter of killing the eight, eight hours of time and they might have a project that day and that's the only thing they really have to work on and they can stretch it out and make it last eight hours, but you really could do it in one or two hours if you were really putting in the energy and efficiency. So that's one of the nice things about working from a home office is you can take these MITs and starting with the the one that you least want to do, just, you know, go at it. Just get it done, get it out of the way. Work quickly, work efficiently, don't let yourself get sidetracked. Um, You'd be surprised how much you can get done in a little amount of time when you start with that kind of a strategy. Then you work your way down the list to the one or two other things. Sometimes you can be done with all your main projects in a day before noon. And then you've created some extra time for yourself to either get ahead on another project or to, you know, take care of some other things. So that's really nice. That's a good strategy that helps. I would recommend trying that. And there's also a lot of other things that can help you be more productive. So we'll talk about that next.